Hey YouTube, Will here from All Electric, and in this short video, I want to show you exactly how to use autopilot. So if you're familiar with the drive stock, if you have a Model 3, you know how to put it in drive or put it in park, but I want to show you how to use autopilot. Maybe you just got your Model 3 and you keep getting this error. You might be feeling a little frustrated, so let me help you out. If no matter what road you're on, you can't see that gray steering wheel, you need to go into the autopilot settings and you're going to get this error that you see here. So to get into the settings, you hit the car icon in the bottom left side of the screen, then autopilot, and then you'll see this menu pop up. You need to enable auto steer and you have to hit yes to this little disclaimer here. Now under this menu, if you have it, you can also enable navigate on autopilot. And we are not going to get into Navigate and Autopilot today as this video is designed for beginners. It's important to note that you can only turn Autopilot on while you're in park. Okay, now that you have Auto Steer turned on, now let's learn about how to control the drive stock. One pull down is going to get you into the adaptive cruise control. So pulling straight down on the drive stock, that one pull is going to get you the adaptive cruise control where it'll brake automatically. That second pull, you're gonna get a blue steering wheel and that is autopilot. Make sure you see this gray steering wheel on your center display before you try to engage autopilot. Okay, so how do you turn off autopilot once it's on? So you have the blue lines, you have the blue steering wheel, but how do you turn it off? There's three different ways to turn off autopilot. First, by pushing up on the drive stop. The second is just by taking control over the steering and the last option is simply pressing down on the brake and that will turn off the system completely. Once you have autopilot engaged, there's a couple different ways to adjust the speed. The easiest one is to use that right scroll wheel, but you can also use the center display if you want to. If you noticed that when I engage autopilot, it's automatically set to go five miles per hour over the speed limit. This can be adjusted at any time under settings, autopilot and speed limit. And I have it set to the relative speed plus five, as you can see there. Roads with traffic lights limits autopilot speed to five miles per hour over the posted speed limit. So even if I change my relative speed to plus 10 and then use the max speed shortcut by hitting the speed limit sign on your center display, it'll only go to five miles per hour over because it's limited. But just to show you how relative speed works, we're gonna set it to plus two, then scroll down to 35 and hit 45 again, and it's gonna go up to 47. Something else to keep in mind, autopilot's not gonna engage in a parking lot or something like that. So if you're having trouble engaging autopilot, make sure you're on a road similar to this one where autopilot is allowed. Now, I realize that most of this information is very elementary to those Tesla veterans out there, but this is not for you. This is for that new Tesla owner out there who just got their car and is feeling really frustrated because they're not able to engage something as simple that we take for granted as autopilot. I hope that this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so yet, consider subscribing. If you know somebody else who's also struggling with autopilot, share this video with them. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much to all of you that are over there on Patreon supporting this channel. Our man of men and our grandma tool Thank you so much for supporting this channel at the all electric level. When you see another Tesla on the road and you're engaged in autopilot, the proper way to wave to them is with two hands waving frantically when you see the other Tesla. Thanks so much for sticking around to see something extra at the end of the video. I will catch you guys in the next one.